Hello and welcome to Edusathi. We'll be talking about exam strategy for CLAT. CLAT exam needs a lot of strategy as it will really push you for time. You need to solve 200 questions in 120 minutes including the one fourth negative marking. So you are you are only given 36 seconds to read, to solve and to mark the question. So it is very, very important to formulate a strategy for yourself if you want to crack CLAT exam. There are certain things that you need to keep in mind while cracking, uh, you know, while preparing for the exam. The first being CLAT is an online exam. So reading on screen becomes very, very tiring. So you need to start practicing online test early. You have to start practicing now. The more you practice online, the more you read online, the more comfortable you will become with an online exam format. Secondly, you need to focus on GK. There's a wide syllabus for GK that you have for CLAT exam, including the current affairs static GK and general awareness. So you need to set aside time daily and focus on GK. Another thing that you need to work upon is your English vocab. It will include all the words that are there in dictionary. You'll have to focus on idioms, phrases and common confusables. You need to focus on accuracy without compromising on speed. You need to increase your speed if you want to crack the CLAT exam. You should keep on increasing your speed if you want to you know, progress in CLAT. The ideal attempt in a CLAT exam would be around 185 questions with 85% accuracy. This is what an ideal attempt looks like, though it also depends upon the level of difficulty of the exam that you get. So ideally, what you have to do is, you should, you should be able to attempt 185 questions with an 85% accuracy rate. That'll kind of give a seat into all the top national law universities of India. So the order of attempt is very, very important while you are planning to give CLAT. You have to start with GK. The 50 questions that you have in GK, why I'm saying is because either you know your answer or you don't. So the entire section should be covered in about 12 to 15 minutes. So 50 questions would be attempted in around 12 to 15 minutes. Then move to English as the questions are very short except the reading comprehension part. Finish all the questions on grammar and vocabulary. Do RC only if it is of an easy topic and reading is your strong point else leave it for later. You should be able to do approximately 30 questions in English with a target time of 15 to 18 minutes. Once you're done with this, move on to the legal part. Do the legal knowledge questions first. They vary the number of questions of, you know, between 0 and 15. These questions are very short and will take only 5 to 6 minutes. And then move on to the legal reasoning part. Legal reasoning, if there are around 35 questions, then try to do them within 35 to 40 minutes. So the maximum time available for this section is around 45 minutes. This section involves a lot of reading and also plays an important part in case of a score tiebreaker. So focus on this section. Okay. Once you are done with the, the English and the legal part, move to the logical aptitude part or I should say the reasoning part and finish it in approximately 25 to 28 minutes. Do not spend a lot of time on a single question and leave it if you are not able to solve it in the first attempt. 
so just do it in case you know it and whenever you are doing this thing do verbal logic before logical reasoning so do the verbal logic part first then move to logical reasoning because you will be saving on your time plus you will be higher on your accuracy part then move on to mathematics you have 20 questions of mathematics do as much as you can within the time of 12 to 13 minutes the 20 questions do as much as you can within 12 to 13 minutes which are given to you take a call and move on to reading comprehension section do the section which you have more confidence on so this is basically you have last 20 minutes of your time left here so this 20 minutes have to be used very judiciously depending upon which section you are good at which section you can score better any time that you may save from the above mentioned time limits can be used now so whatever time you have saved from this can be used now while completing your maths and reading comprehension part note that CLAT is a very energy draining exam and you don't get even a single minute to relax you can't even waste a single minute in CLAT exam you so you have to make sure that you build your stamina from the start don't indulge in a question where you are wasting a lot of time or don't indulge in a section where you think you have already wasted a lot of time always start with your stronger area so whatever is your strong area always start from the strong area moving towards the areas which you are weak at since you have no negative marking sorry i should say since you have no sectional cutoffs there's no need for you to spend too much time on a particular section so spend your time evenly and work on your strong areas first you can always interchange the order of these sections or topic depending upon what suits you the best in case of any help required you can move to our website edusati.com and you can look at some of the video lectures and practice questions and kickstart your preparations cheers all the best